What is up, my fellow Chibits? As you could probably already see by the title of this video, yes, Kaneki's new hair color is red. Now, I know many of you are probably going to be asking, like, what the fuck? How does hair go from, like, black to white, and then white to red? Like, how the fuck does that even happen? Like, how? Well, there is a pretty obvious reason for this, which I'm going to dive into, of course, because that's probably the question you want answered. So just last week, before the chapter came out, chapter 53, not 54 that's about to come out, but chapter 53 that came out last week, Ashida wrote a poem. And this poem is on his Twitter, which I will link in the description if you want to check for yourself. I'm not a really good singer, so I'm not even going to try to sing the poem or anything, so I'll just link in the description for you can see it for yourself. So the poem talks about, like, a god to stain with blood, many things like that, how, like, the blood cannot wash out. And I want to point out something with the latest chapter, chapter 53 of Tokyo Ghoul. Chapter 53, you get to see a scene where Kaneki and Sasuke, they're talking, and then you see it to where, as I talked about in my review, where the dialogue bubble, it mixes together. It's kind of like the personalities are merging. For instance, Sasuke and Kaneki from part one are merging into one, and they're finally becoming the original Kaneki before part one of Tokyo Ghoul. And to see that, you if you look closely, you see Heisei Sasuke when he says, yeah, when they mix together, his hair has, like, dripping of blood off it. Like, you see blood just dripping through his hair and off his face. And you see how his hair color changes in the next page. Like, right when he says, like, I'm done dreaming, his entire head is black. Like, solid black, if you take a good look at that. So now that we kind of already see the change in color, let's explain what this is. For one, his hair has been dyed with his blood. For instance, the blood from the beating he just took from Karen and also Eto, it made it to where blood was just gushing out and his head just got bloody. Like, his hair is now stained with blood. And with that, the poem correlates with this that Ashida wrote, and he posted last week on his Twitter how it, uh, the blood stain cannot be washed out, which the blood is on his hair, cannot be washed out. So I want to assume that his hair is going to be permanently dyed red for a while until probably his hair grows out uh, too much and then eventually can cut it. But for now, his hair is going to probably be red for a while. So let's show you something. Ashida actually drew this a long time ago in part one of Tokyo Ghoul. I am not shitting you right now. This picture was by Ashita sensei the writer of Tokyo Ghoul. This picture he did a long time ago. A long time ago. Before part two was even talked about for instance, Tokyo Ghoul Re, he drew this picture. Now, if that's not fucking foreshadowing, I don't know what the fuck is. But still, that is pretty damn amazing. So that also confirms that Kaneki's hair is red as well, which is a really good thing because this allows us to know that this Kaneki that we're about to see is completely different from anything we have seen. Because one way that Ishida draws Kaneki is through his hair. His hair is the biggest way to really tell who's in control at that moment or who is really speaking. For instance, when we think of Kaneki, we think of his hair. For instance, we think of white-haired Kaneki, Kaneki, we think of black haired Kaneki, we think of the salt and pepper type look of Heisei Sasaki. Usually it comes down to the core of his design when it's his hair. And this is usually how we can tell which character is which. For instance, if we see white hair, that's usually, you know, Shoneki, Kaneki. I and mean, if you see black hair, that's Kaneki before he got tortured. Well, he was already kind of tortured by his mother, but we'll get into that later. And then you also have it to where this new form, which is going to have red, it is completely different from his previous other, you know, personas he's taken upon himself. So this is a really good idea by Ashita how he foreshadowed this and also is doing this because it allows everybody to know, yes, this is a different, a different personality we have never seen before. This is the original, which is probably going to be fucking cruel. This is going to be a very cruel son of a bitch because I want to tell you right now, Kaneki wants to die. We already know he's a psychotic character. He wants to die. He wants to die in style. And we also got a quick glimpse in chapter 53 with Kaneki. And we got a glimpse of when he was getting abused. We got to see exactly how he was before he became what he was at the start of part one. I want to show a couple pictures on the screen for you to see for yourself. You remember that panel where Kaneki was getting abused by his mother in chapter 53? I think we all do. Well, there's a panel right underneath that. And if you read the dialogue, you have it to where Kaneki's saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Don't beat me or don't hit me or whatever. And then he's like, I love mommy. And this panel just, it's a very sad panel. But let's look at a little bit closer. Let's flip this panel onto the side and now look at it. Look at that face. 
Kaneki is smiling. He has a fucking smile. But also, let's look at the other thing. He has his hand on his chin. Right there. You see that? His hand is on his chin. So, let's point this out real quick. We all know what the hand on the chin means when it comes to Kaneki. We, we already know that. We know that means he's lying or he's hiding something, not telling the entire truth. And this entire dialogue about, like, this panel is like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, don't beat me, you know, I love mommy. Any of these things could be Kaneki saying, like, a lie to. For instance, like, oh, I'm not really sorry, maybe he wants to be beat, who the fuck knows, or maybe, you know, he's saying, like, uh, I don't really love mommy. It, it could be any of those, but that's also a really cool thing. Maybe Kaneki got his habit, he started that habit at that moment. For instance, his chin thing at that moment. That, that might have been, like, Ashita showing us that's when Kaneki really started using that lying habit. But, yes, the smile, though, is very eerie because for him to be smiling while he's getting abused by his mother hints at what type of person the original Kaneki was which I'm going to assume is going to be very cruel a very very cruel character because for one thing this character I I, I feel like he's going to be not exactly like Shoneki white-haired Kaneki but he's going to be very fucking close like very very close because let's look at this the reason why Kaneki became black-haired Kaneki, how he was at the beginning of part one, was because he didn't want to be like his mother. He, he idolized his mother, he put her in a good spotlight, he faked his memory, erased his memories and stuff where he could have a good mother, and he became this weak, wimpy self which people make fun of, which is really fucked up now, making fun of someone like that when he was just trying not to be like his parent, and that was him trying to not be like his mother. Black-haired Kaneki was him not being his mother. And then Jason comes in, tortures Kaneki, and then all sorts of different shit he did to him. Eventually led him to breaking down his fundamentals to where he became what he didn't want to be. For instance, similar to his mother. But he wasn't exactly similar to his mother because he did have compassion. He did have love. He cared for his friends and family, or his new family. He cared about them quite a bit, which was shown a lot through Shoneki and his ideals, and what he stri strived for in the second half of part one. Now, when it comes to this new Kaneki, I feel like he's going to be very close to his mother, to where he's almost an identical copy, or similar to her, where he's going to be very cold, cruel, or he's not going to care about anything. Maybe people that he's befriended in the past, he might not give a shit about, and and he will go off trying to harm them. Now, I want to take a quote from Tokyo Ghoul, which is very ironic, and it's a pretty good quote from Tokyo Ghoul Part 1, and could be applied to this situation. A quote is, I'd rather be the one being hurt than to hurt others. For instance, Kaneki rather be hurt than to hurt others. Now, let's flip this quote. I'd rather hurt others than be hurt. Now, let's think about this as well. Kaneki's mother was an abuser. She abused her son. She hurt people, but she didn't get hurt. So, Kaneki, if he gets similar to his mother, that means he will hurt others, but he doesn't want to be hurt. So, he's going to shut himself off from everybody else, and he's giving and living to his true self. His true self is finally walking out of that door, and he's going to be who he really was since the very beginning, before he turned into black-haired Kaneki and Shiro Kaneki. So, let's also talk about something else to kind of conclude this video. If you do not know, which I've covered before in the past, I have a couple videos on it. It's in my Tokyo Ghoul playlist. You can check it out for yourself. But, if you do not know, Tokyo Ghoul is based off of the Fool's Journey. It, it's related to tarot cards and stuff. And we're entering a part of the Fool's Journey that talks about this. I want to do a, a phrase from The Fool's Journey. The Fool has been reborn. What's going on with Kaneki right now? How he's coming back to his original personality. His false ego self, Sasaki, and then, you know, white-haired Kaneki, has been shed, allowing his radiant true self to manifest, which is our new, I guess, red-haired Kaneki. You get the point. So, The Fool's Journey, once again, has kind of let us know what is going on here in somewhat details. And so, yeah, Kaneki is here. Red-haired Kaneki. Red-haired Kaneki or Bloodstained Kaneki. Oh, I like that name. Bloodstained Kaneki is back. And he is probably going to be a cruel son of a bitch. I already can see it. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below about this revelation of red hair. How do you feel about the true personality? Let me know your thoughts. Cannot wait for Chapter 54 to come out. I'm pretty damn hyped up right now. Love you all. Please be safe. Shibi out.